If you're using version 1.21 of BetAngel or above, um, there's a significantly enhanced multi-market uh, trading capability and monitoring tool. Uh, if you look over here, you can see we've got the Guardian buttons, G and G+. G+, would simply add a market to Guardian. G actually fires up Guardian itself. And the reason it's called Guardian is it's there to look after markets in the background for you. So regardless of whatever you're trading in the current um, open version of BetAngel, Guardian will sit in the background and actively monitor markets that you've added to Guardian and it will manage positions that you have in those markets. The positions that it will manage will be offset orders, trailing stops, fill or kill orders, all of those sort of things in the global settings. Um, there are certain things it can't do, so for example it, it can't trigger bets in. Um, by cycling through markets, but it will actively monitor open positions or positions that are tagged with um, automatic characteristics that have come from the global settings. You can see here it's got a refresh interval of one second. Um, this is how fast it will cycle through the market. So you can add 80 markets on here and it would basically go through each market once a second to check and update all of the details within that particular market and then it will return back to the top of the list. To add a market to Guardian, if you go, to, for example, to horse racing here, we can look at the 250 at Wincanton and we can drag and drop that into there. Um, well, let's add the other Wincanton market and we'll add a Ludlow in there as well. In fact, let's go bananas, mark all of those and drag and drop all of those in there. You can see it's taken a couple of seconds here to update and that's because we've got the refresh interval set at 1. If you want it to speed it up, set it up at uh, 200 milliseconds and it basically goes bang, boom, 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 boom. Apart from it, it doesn't obviously say boom. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you want to remove a market, then you can basically um, go up to here and you can use, you can mark one, you can mark loads, or if you press down control, you can just pick out ones that you don't want to be in there, remove selected market. If you want to add the market that you're in currently in BetAngel, click on that and it will add that to it as well. Very simple to add and remove markets from Guardian. You can also reshape things here. And you'll also see over here we've got um, start time. So if you want them ordered by start time, just click there and it will reorder them into the current start time. Now if it's a bit laborious dragging and dropping uh, markets into here, uh, you can go to the quick pick list and you can see here you can add UK races, uh, Greyhound, Win, and play, uh, win markets, place markets and both. So if I just do add the UK races, you can see because we're sorting by start time, it's adding, updating and refreshing the market and then basically um, resorting it for us uh, dynamically. And basically once you've added a market into Guardian, you can actually exit Guardian. It'll prompt you to save it if you want. And all of those are being actively monitored in the background. You don't need to um, to do anything more with those, they're all being actively managed in the background. If we click on any one of those, you can see we can look at the odds in each of those individual markets or tell us how many unmatched bets there are, whether it's in, in play, suspended or so on. Um, so that's basically how you would add markets into Guardian and once they're in Guardian that will automatically be monitored in the background.